people say love is in the air, and when it comes to a special event to celebrate the 300th day anniversary, then it boils down to getting a cart for about only a time limited. So this is the Share Up Cruiser. Let's test it out. So this is the legendary Sherup Cruiser that you can get. You can get it in the Chrono Shop, I think. I, you can still get it in the Chrono Shop or during the 300 day anniversary event. You can get this time, you can get this for a time limited for about a week. So what this card does is it converts normal nitro to heart, heart shaped nitro. It can block hexes, barricades, and has a set chance to block any kind of missile except the flame missiles because then that'd be too overpowered. When I say any type, I meant normal missiles, super missiles, golden missiles, and lollipop missiles. The flame missiles then, nah, that'd be too overpowered. <laughs> so at least they made a set chance. Imagine if they it blocked any kind of upgraded missile, that'd be amazing to see. But yeah, it can block hexes, barricades, and make hard-shaped nitro. I also done this with the uh, couple's carriage, with along with the Ny the Nyang card. It also converted normal nitro to hard-shaped nitro. It can block has a has chances to block um, missiles, and I think it also converted missiles to lollipop missiles. Yeah, <laughs> that was amazing. And the school bus also did that thing too, where it also had a high chance, like, you know. But with the Sheriff Cruiser, it does the same thing as the couple's carriage. It converts normal nitro to hard shaped nitro. So, yeah, before we get into the ranked mode, I normally test these cards on only on arcade mode and then move on to the higher ranked. It's a legendary item race, makes sense. And you can customize this card along with the other customizable cards. There's the hard shaped nitro. And it's basically like like any other kind of nitro. If I don't have oh thanks for the thanks for the angel weeks. Like literally This is this is what you wanna go for, you know. But if you have your choice, you could choose between the couple's carriage or the share of cruiser. It's like carriage versus cruiser, which is the better one? Would you go for an epic item race or a legendary item race? Part? It def it's your choice there, you know, because you can get the uh, couple's carriage for free. It's a soulmate exclusive. It makes sense because, you know, I don't know why I'm using the space bun. Probably because it can block it to make it block missiles in case if the sheriff cruiser fails to do so. Then, yeah, that's when we have the space bun. I just use it also to block to make it block uh, the hexes as well. For some people, the hexes are no big deal, and if they have the sheriff cruiser, then oh, those those were the missiles back there. I mean the barricades. Yes, we have the Zoro Nero drift emoji and the Zoro Nero uh, plate on the cruiser. You can apply this to the to the new cart called the Dark Knight if you want, and get the Zoro pacer. Oh, we just completed it flawless. <laughs> we just completed it like without even trying. Well. Because we just kept dodging. Yes, we were hit by like UFOs, but on the bright side, we did able to make it and show off the heart shaped nitro. Now let's go into where things usually get crazy. And it's ranked item solos. Now we're already reaching the end of the, the season, obviously. There's already a new season coming out. Before we move on to that, let's check out the bank what's under the banquet. Yes, we have the battery investment plan on. But this is what's happening for this new season, for this new version, the season. So there'll be there'll be a new racer called there'll be a new mode called Bouncy Battle. I don't know what that is. And there's a new title called Season Six Tarp Racer. There are new ranked mode promotion rewards finally, and a trade shop which you can trade in the I don't know what currency will be in. There'll be a new legendary racer called Tierra. There is a new speed race. There is a new speed race cart called Tyranno. New arrivals will be in the shop, new tracks, and along that will be a new fairy tale home flying pit, which what will literally just be a donut. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. I 
or to just see it, you know, when the new season comes out. So here we are in ranked mode. And if I wonder if they're keeping um, ranked item mode solos because that was fun. It's fun. Yes, it's been like, you know, but literally a very good game mode. I want them to keep it for the other for like the other seasons to come because it's very fun. Like why, you know, if your teammate, if you match up with very low end teammates and you lose, then just go alone. You know, why not race by yourself or if you and you know, or if you have very good uh friends that you have made with you can always do some item races you know so yeah your decision your choices <laughs> oh man i wonder if they're actually debuting that new uh reversible track along the new season because that's what they did they dropped new tracks for this season next season is just gonna be all fairy tales and stuff why can't we have spring season come on it just like you know how we had the season three of of the wind of like with the uh, ice theme gonna they just be like for oh my god lag it just it just went off the charts just literally i don't know if i'm playing i think i was playing over cellular network i don't know but it definitely uh pulled me back down there that's not good at least we got some more hard shaped nitro we could just do these uh, u turns with it my goodness this is very good though if you want to go as i said you can compare this with the couple's carriage that one's for free this one's for in the chrono shop and the thing about the chrono shop is you can actually use your own tickets so it's so uh, yeah just give a discount some people don't know this unless they haven't been playing the game since season one <laughs> but when the well when they're doing the, uh, I wonder if they're doing the special anniversary of one year. Oh, okay, the space bun. I, I saw the space bun do the, do the laugh thing, because it does that when it successfully blocks it. But as I said, the couple, <laughs> I meant the Sheriff Cruiser can do that, so. It just already back. <laughs> See, it did it again. <laughs> it did it again. <laughs> My goodness, this is why, I mean, we could use the, uh, we could use the Lunar Bun, why am I using the Space Bun for this? We could use the Lunar Bun because we have these necessary card that can block hexes. It's like the Kitty Cruiser, it also does that, it also blocks them hexes as well, so it's your choice between the Kitty Cruiser, but that one, you can rapid escape from water bombs and water flies. Not so much for ice, though. It takes time because, oh my god. I think, oh come on, I should have hit reset. Oh, I got to, oh. The thing about those EMP missiles is when you get hit, it does adapt, it does an area of slowdown, so people that are caught in the uh, EMP's radius will get slowed down. The one person only gets struck. I just literally hexed the t uh, six people. <laughs> I literally just, oh. We, maybe we could secure fourth place, you know? Oh, since we're like in fourth place, we could just do that. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it not 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 we're just ending the video right now because we haven't done the. Uh, okay, that time was the sheriff cruiser because the space one hasn't done the laugh thing. So that was the cruiser part. All right, well, I'm gonna take you. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, did I just do it? Maybe. I think I did. Or probably they made it before I fired at them. We'll just uh, see what the podium says. Uh, yup. <laughs> yup, I made it third place. And I don't know how is that possible, you know. But I think I, yeah, I used the super missile. The super missile, when someone already made it first place, when someone already crossed the finish line, there'll be other people in front of you, so you could fire at them before they even make it. It's so good. Alright, now let's do some item team, because we're already using the Sheriff Cruiser. Let's choose the Berry Lunar Bun, and yes, as I said, you can get this- no wait, that's not the right mode. As I said before, you can get this in the fairy shop in the home section. Oh, I just got liked. <laughs> Thanks for liking me, people. 
So yeah, if you want me to try out more cards, well, I could try out the cards that are available for free or to get them from special events, or if I have enough of the batteries to purchase them, or even get them from special events. I could just get these cards from maybe a specialized events, whatever. All, all of this goes well. <laughs> As I said, we're, already, we're using the Lunar Bun because with the Space Bun, it blocks the hexes, but the Cruiser can already do that, so what's the use? <laughs> So we're just going to use the Lunar Bun, the Beatty Lunar Bun, can block any missiles in case if the cruiser again fails to do so. It can block normal missiles and super missiles, the Space Bun. The cruiser can also do that because as I, as I said before, quote unquote, has a set chance to block any type of missile, but not the flame missiles. Like someone's using the Phoenix, you can't block flame missiles because then that'd be too overpowered. But as I already said this many times, it has a set chance so it's not too overpowered, but it can kind of be if, in case if they actually do that, and then people are just going to complain about this. Aw, oh, damn. I, I failed to make the turn, that's what happened, I failed to do the turn. You know what I like about these magnets? It's that when you're in the air, they have, they have low friction, so you just fly. And that's why I love doing this, and that part, on this map, is that it does that, it's so fun. Alright, see you guys later. Oh, I got more heart-shaped nitro, so love really is in the air. Oh, I have to reset because I, I was going to hit that wall, that's why. Well, I'll see you guys later. Mm. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I just... Oh, yeah, we're testing out this card. I forgot. I was like, wait, why am I doing this? Oh, yeah, because it's the special... Uh, some of YouTubers have already done it. This was already a thing in, in the Valentine's Day, but I decided why not just try it out because yes, I gained like 20. I have 27 subscribers. The number may change depending on how late I upload these videos because I normally schedule them on the weekends, so that way I don't have to worry about making it on the weekend because I mean I still do make them on weekends. I just schedule them so because I keep my promise. Oh, that just lagged. The, sh the cruiser uh, can already do the uh, barricades. I don't know why I just went around them. I can just go through them. The red trolley also does that. It can block barricades, no problem. And doesn't have to worry about banana peels nor mines. So it just can go over that. Because it is a very sturdy shopping cart. Oh, I can't go over banana peels. That was a mistake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I hope we win this. Yeah, we are going to win this. What am I saying? <laughs> we are going to win this. The reason I'm not doing um, a normal arcade solos is because people barely do that. They normally do it only in <laughs> in ranked mode. Well, at least, only, at least we didn't get hit by the flame missiles, but we got hit by other stuff. So I guess we can call it a double win right here. Or a trip. Uh, did we win three times? I think. Man. Oh wow, I just need- uh, okay, it only takes one point to earn that star, and I'm- uh, oh wow, I just- <laughs> I just did my, uh, the quests. I did my quests already, wow, that's impressive. That's impressive. I mean, we could, uh, okay, before we end this, let's see what happens if we do it with, uh, with bots. I mean, obviously who does that? Oh, wait, no, not teams, we already did that. Solos with bots. Yes, you can add bots and- and the arcade mode, not can't add them in relay races or or the flag capture thing or capture the flag. You can't do that. But with well, with the other modes, you can. <laughs> uh, let's try a normal map. Oh, it's only Terracotta Twister. Let's do uh, Handy Harbor. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I was able to do it at the second, at the last second. I was able to switch maps before. We even started. This is solo mode, to be honest. And bots, well, every bot, every NPC has their own pet. Has their own pet, yeah. But does one have the actually the lunar bun? I don't know. I haven't checked. So they use their their like own theme cards. Dow with the Dowminator. This with their Dizzy Drifter. Marie with the uh, Marie Go Round. Laduami, I don't know what name that card is, and Uni with this Unifier. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I have the badge that can has a high chance to block. Well, at least I could go through barricades. Alright, I'm just gonna... Yep. Well, we could tell, like, already because they didn't, they didn't do a great job blocking it. But with the chances... Oh my god, I just remember... I can't go around those... I can't, I mean, I can't go through banana peels. What am I doing? Yeah, some of you may reference that this is one of the games that you've actually played, coincidence, since I made tons of videos about this game. It probably rings you any bells. Especially the first version of the game that came out in 2004. It was called Crazy Racing Car Rider, and surprisingly, this game is a Korean game. Like, literally, it's developed by Nexon, which they're a South Korean Japanese game developer. Which I think it's headquartered. Is it either headquartered in South Korea or Jap or Japan? I'm not even bothered blocking these missiles. I just want to block the lightning and other stuff just to show off. I don't think that's happening today. We never had that happen before. All right, watch it. Yep, the lunar bun blocked it. <laughs> lunar bun definitely blocked it. Wait. Okay, no blocks. But you just. You just never know if it's actually going to do it. If you feel like it's not going to happen, then why bother waiting? Don't be like me, <laughs> just waiting for it to... Alright, the... Well, the bun does it again. <laughs> uh, yep. It just literally likes blocking that the missiles. Looks like the cruiser doesn't want to do it. Like, literally every cart does it. Wait for it. I know it's going to do it. Yep, there it is. Yep, there's the uh, hex block as well. Well, at least it did it. It blocked. I don't know what missile it did. Okay, that was me using a shield. <laughs> Even if the shield literally went down for a quick millisecond, there was no way the cart would actually block that, as it's impossible to do so. So, yep, that that's it. That's the uh, Sherp Cruiser testing. As I said, it converts normal nitro to heart-shaped nitro, can block barricades, hexes, and has a set chance to block any kind of missiles except the flame missiles because that then it'd be broken. <laughs> so yep. You have the option to try between that or the couple's carriage because they are both low focused cards, you know. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you like this then you gotta give it a like. If you want me to make more videos in the future then you gotta comment and subscribe for more up upcoming more videos and more card testing. I do them every time a new card comes out or if it's for free in the event or the past then I could test out that card. If it's speed, mostly item because you could you could it's sort of a comparison between one or the other. So yep, I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one.